The quick. PT Cruiser would support Trump yeah, look if at the that. car could The PT Trump. Cruiser is a literal driving Trump supporter. <laughs> yeah, it's a Trump yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you, no, if you believe cars. I, I don't look, there's think... one right there with flames. Did you see it? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Love Hate Laugh Show. Just put the podcast at one point like three speed like just slightly <laughs> faster <laughs> and we're all just talking we're like, 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 like oh, hey the slight is it <laughs> it just sounds like it just audience. sounds like old yeah like an old movie am i, old the, am I like, the only person that what do we love and what do we hate no or, you're not or or podcasts at like 1.25 speed if i have a deadline i do I'm. I like to get. I don't know. It just makes I only me feel like I won somebody, the book. It's only if it's somebody who's just dreadfully boring yeah. or, or like slow. really slow. Or my car yeah. rides like twenty minutes to work, and if I've got like twenty three minutes left to finish yeah. this book, I'm uh, like, I'll speed it up just so I can like mm, not that. have to listen to three. I minutes don't really at the end. listen to books, but if I did, I would definitely put them at one. I'd probably even put them like a one point five or two. Yeah. But. I, don't, I, I tried two and it was just like it was overwhelming. Alvin and the yeah. Like, and, and, it, yeah. and it goes up to three, I think, right? Yeah. That's like some serious ADHD. Dude, yeah. Three no, that's speed. just a guy on meth. You yeah. know what? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's tweaking I, like a son I'm of a not going to lie. I watched the second half of Squid Game on double speed because I was bored of it, but I wanted to know what happened. Mm. Why didn't you just read the Wikipedia summary? I or just watch a five know. minute video that'll explain everything about it. <laughs> oh, I should have just done that. That would have yeah. been. That's my st- that's no. my style. I wanted the fi- I wanted the badge. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, you could have just waited for Mr. Beast to have his own squid. I know, games. right? Yeah. Just redo it. I'm like a like. I just I can't stop thinking about how like for all these years Christians have been like the mark of the beast the mark of the beast mm, but and then this the guy Mr. One? Beast shows up and he's doing weird psychological experiments on people. I never thought about <gasps> that. And then everyone's like, yes, this man, he's making food that I will eat. Why would you do that? Oh, and now he's got companies? Yeah, he had like a ghost kitchen for a while. He had like packaged snacks at Mr. Walmart. Mr. Beast is the devil. Ghost kitchen? Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> he's like, he's right I there. I think you're right. He's being very obvious about I, it. <laughs> and I think we have a responsibility to spread the good word. I think <laughs> I think there are some people out there. Just and saying. for a small fee, I oh, think those that people need to hear what, they, yeah. what we have to say. That must be why I keep getting all those Joel Osteen videos, too. <laughs> that is. <laughs> the Lord's trying to Mr. save you. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like trying to... It's like <laughs> the angels and demons <laughs> are yeah. on your shoulders <laughs> fighting it out. If you want us to go back on YouTube and keep finding all the producers <laughs> that are going to send you straight to hell, you can yeah, put a little exactly. money in this jar that we're going to send around so we can keep doing the good yeah. work and bring says, us, says the podcast you bringing the power of the Lord. With the, with the, the, the Lord. Lord. No, I watched I this show, The Righteous Gemstones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Danny and I was Bride. very much inspired. I was like, yeah. we can fucking do this. We love it, Danny. <laughs> we uh, loved it. Did you watch Eastbound and Down? No, I've <gasps> seen some episodes. You would love it. Uh, says the podcast that has the Illuminati eye in there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> what have we done? All right, let's get. This All right, started. we're seeing the truth with that. Let's act. get this started. <laughs> I think we're ready. So, uh, welcome to the Love Hate Lap Show, where we talk about something we love, talk about something we hate, and we have a good time along the way. Um, I'm producer Paul. I'm Bjorn RG. <laughs> I like how we're still playing the game. I'm Eliza Butler. And I'm Nick Scalzone. Awesome. So, <laughs> should, should we uh, just ju- dive right yeah, into, let's it? Dive into it? Let's start with uh, Eliza bringing the love yeah. today. I love possums. And when I say okay. possum, I am talking about opossums, the American version. Mm. The Australian ones are cute, but they probably will kill you. So, we're not talking about them. I'm talking about the American marsupial, the woodland creature that has more teeth than brains. That everyone is afraid of. You get, I can't show it today because I have leggings on, but I have a possum tattoo. They're so ugly. I know they're ugly. That's why I love them. Does it say awesome possum? Uh, no. <laughs> it has a line from the Mar- the Mountain Goats song, Possum by Night. Okay. Okay. So, um, so yeah, just to clarify, it. is it opossum that we It is. We are talking about the opossums, but in American vernacular, it's possum. So that's what I'm going to say. Oh, okay. Look gotcha. at their cute little coats. Um, they, everyone thinks they're scary. They're not. They're actually very good. They can't get rabies because their body temperature is too low. They can't? They cannot. Ooh. Okay. So, so like, you don't have to worry about a bite. Um, they eat a Do lot they of- they bite? Uh, probably. <sighs> but they also play possum. Um, they get play scared dead. and pretend that they're, they're dead, which I understand. Um, they like to carry their babies on their back. Again, they are a marsupial, the only, I think, North American marsupial, if I'm remembering right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So they got a pouch under there. Um, they are 
the best little woodland creatures have we've got. Have you seen one God, in the wild? Weird as I hell. have. Okay. I saw one one Set time. The stage. I was in my backyard. <laughs> It's Here a in story Portland. oldest Here in time. Portland. I yes. was in my backyard. I was very because I had seen a raccoon in my backyard. Mm-hmm. Well, I well so basically I had, all of these animals. I had been surprised by them. I was probably a little stony baloney <laughs> in the backyard in the dark. <laughs> I was on mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> no, I was not on mushrooms. And I definitely saw a possum. If and I it was on my leg, <laughs> I was on mushrooms. Yeah, exactly. It was like it was just talking. It came right off it my leg singing. and just walked around the neighborhood. It, <laughs> it was, was singing amazing. the mountain goats to me. Um, so <laughs> one time, one, serenade you with a song. <laughs> one time, I got scared by a raccoon. The raccoon was also scared. We were we had a little standoff. One time I was back in my backyard and I saw a pregnant skunk and I ran away wait, very wait, wait. fast. Wait, wait, wait. A pregnant? How did yeah. you know it was pregnant? Because I had, at the time- Did you were, ask? Yeah. <laughs> it was just a really how long till you, how, till, how long till you're due? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're like, how dare you? Are you, are you going to have- <laughs> Actually, yeah, how did you know it was are pregnant? Are you going to have a little <laughs> stinker? <laughs> you, you never, a you, litter <laughs> of little stinkers. Yes, I know because- A litter of stinkers. How do you know? Was, first of all, she was real fat. Um, which is like, you know, I don't want to body shame the skunk, but you know, they live outside. They're like, <laughs> you know, it, you can guess. But mm-hmm. also at the time there was a stray cat that I called the scrungly cat who would ca- come around and I would feed scrungly cat. And so there was a bowl full of food and the skunk came up and ate the entire bowl mm-hmm. of cat food. So she mm-hmm. needed it. Yeah, she needed it. Um, and then I was like, oh no. Oh, this is right before um you did the photo shoot in my house and i was like oh, and, the, right. and she was under she's hanging out under my deck and i was like i hope that that skunk is not still here when the photo shoot arrives yeah. but then i learned that like skunks especially and it was like in the early summer so it was like uh, mating time for them so it made sense she was pregnant but they just hang out somewhere for a few days and move on so by the time you guys got there she yeah. moved on luckily because i did not want to have anybody sprayed by a skunk so what was the possum pregnant that you saw i don't think so. well she might have been but i she didn't see uh, to be it was dark it was really dark um and i was and i heard a little rustle and i looked and i was so excited and i took a picture but it's just a blur because i was just like oh my god i finally saw a possum <laughs> it's shaking <laughs> yeah and i loved her too much and she ran away oh. um and yeah so that was the time i saw a possum and i was so happy did, did it make any noise no I've seen a few they of them scream. around town. Yeah, have so you? So you'll you'll see more. They're around. In your part of town, mostly I see rats. <laughs> I've seen well, I've seen raccoons over here. I yeah. think I've seen a possum over here. Definitely saw one back in North Portland. Yeah, in Overlook. Yeah, definitely I saw a possum. It's a little bit more like residential up there. Yeah, like where I live, so it makes sense. I've seen yeah, a coyote that's in my like. neighborhood though. Yeah, like right over here. Yeah, northwest. <laughs> yeah, they they're definitely like in North I, Portland. Yeah, too. we saw coyotes like. On Alberta Street one time, mm-hmm. Joanna and I, it was like, we were like one block south of Alberta, like Alberta and <laughs> we had 15th. Like a, we had like a two wolf or something crawl us through. pretty That's far. Scary. And we were like, uh, this How is big was it? Well, it was a coyote if it yeah, was, it was a Portland. Coyote. Yeah. It was, a coyote. It, was it was not a, a wolf. Believe me, if you if ever you, saw a real wolf, you'd be like, oh shit. If so, you saw a wolf here, you would have gotten on the news because everybody <laughs> would have seen it and it would have been like a real thing. Well, we That's called true. We called uh, the non-emergency... Mm. Help. How long yeah. were you on hold? Six hours? So or? long. Yeah. <laughs> but, and they were like, cool. But going back to the possums, <laughs> oh, right, I, yeah. I yes, want to I want to yeah. know more. Six. You have a possum tattoo. I do have a possum tattoo. And you you obviously talk to them in your backyard. Um. Well, I I was trying not to be too loud. I didn't want to scare her away. But where, but in my dreams, where, in my heart. Where did this uh possum addiction start? Um, I just think that they get a bad rap because they aren't the cutest little animals and I have a soft spot in my heart for the ugly ducklings. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where my, and like, have you ever seen, there's a Saturday Night Live sketch of like this woman's pregnant woman's baby shower and all of the moms were there. Like, it's time to pick your animal. Mm. Um, and so I guess even though I don't have children, like I just picked my animal. So if I did have children, I'd have a bunch of kitchen implements with possums on it, I guess. Um, <laughs> so what I you're guess. saying wait, is wait, wait, so, so fans, fans of the show, uh, what as Liza just said is she wants a possum salt and pepper mm. shaker. Exactly. For exactly. her, the or kitchen a spatula Christmas. or anything, a or tea a, towel or, a, or, or a, a hot grabber. Or, yeah, yeah. Or like one of those kind of flat wait, bowls. What that do you, you mean? Would anything? Maybe put rolls in you once mean, every yeah. three or four Everything. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So my tattoo, it is like a traditional American style tattoo. So it's like not a cute possum. It is a very ugly possum, which was the goal. Um, and it says um, safe in the spots that the light can't reach, which is a line from 
um, the mountain goat song possum by night about a possum who's on a nighttime adventure. Um, but I just also like that because in my um, non comedy life, I work with people with trauma and I thought that that was really kind I of like reflective that. of that. That's really cool. And then I posted it on Twitter and I tagged the mountain goats and John Darnell, who is the main mountain goat liked it. And I was like, this is the best day of my life. That's nice. pretty darn awesome. Like he knows awesome. about my cool tattoo. Do you remember uh, a goofy movie? Were you familiar with that? Um, I am. I know about it. I have not seen it. There's a whole possum <gasps> scene in it. Really? That, that's like all I think about. Like, just search like possum, a goofy movie. Uh, uh, they, yeah, there you go. They go to this. Uh, I'll just, I'll just, yeah, they go to this Uncle Lester's possum pals. Or so, there's the logo for it. They go to like this weird. It's it's supposed to be like they went to an off brand Dis- uh, Disney World slash it's like a kids oh yeah, yeah park yeah. thing yeah like where, Enchanted Forest here so it's supposed to be like he's it's a coming of age he's too cool and his dad still wants to go and do this like oh. silly stuff yeah and he takes him to this like nightmarish uh, possum hats. possum and they get these oh possum hats that they wear uh, it's, I it's, need one and uh, I bet I can go on that and there's like this whole scene where it's like Uncle Lester's possum it's it's a pretty uh uh i don't know i've I've got a hard-hitting question for you oh no oh you can get one would you yeah want a taxidermied possum i was does your love of possums yes as long as it was like ethically killed ethically killed (laughs) (laughs) yeah i don't need anybody to murder a possum Um, it wasn't still alive absolutely i would yeah exactly (laughs) they're like oh my god we thought it was dead but it was just playing dead but it's too late now (laughs) no i don't but i would yes of course i would that's like the two it's like what they used to say about reese's peanut butter cups like the two great tastes that taste Mm. great together Mm -hmm. that's how i feel about possum taxidermy thank you nick (laughs) i had never even considered that really I had um, that thought too. I was like, yeah. Oh, well, oh. Duh. And also, do you see? So, oh no, it went away. So there was like, a, there. I also have a little toy. It's like an Archie McPhee toy of a possum sitting in a peanut, and it's like a car. And when you like pull it back, it oh, zooms. he drives oh, cool. the peanut car. Yeah. And I got that because I went on Amazon. And it was like stuff you might like, and I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bezos, you won again. Uh, like, yeah. I, I absolutely uh, yes. That's what I have. Look at that. That uh-huh. is there that is a thing. Is. Yeah. They also have like pug have versions. Pug they have one. other versions, but obviously the possum one you is the one. You need a possum needed. for your mirror, I think. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It can go with my um crocheted mushroom that I got from a co- audience member once at a comedy show and <laughs> my uh lanyard from Portland's Best Comedy Fest, the, t- <laughs> the comedy festival that still- we had in 2020 <laughs> the, in Portland. Oh, that's mm-hmm. so funny. At our friend's house. It was the highlight of that year that was yeah, so look fun. at them they're just so sweet and they are kind of a cute animal when you. you don't see their like crazy teeth right their teeth but, like, freak me out they're right you know but what freaks me out working. the most is yeah. the way they move they uh, move so? in like such a weird at least the one i saw up in north portland i was out taking a walk at night mm-hmm. and there's a possum and he's only like story 10 clock feet away from story me. clock so story <laughs> and just the way story clock. good catch i tried to slip it in there <laughs> anyway the I way felt he, it. I felt it. The next. way he, he moved, it was so creepy. Like yeah. he didn't just move like a ray. He was just like, it was yeah. like he was learning how. Oh the, sure. And I was like, that's a weird ass animal. Yeah. No, and that's <laughs> just that's weird. why I like it. You know, like raccoons. Everybody loves a little trash panda. You know, even like rats have their um, proponents, but like people don't love. And I just think yeah, they don't get a lot of love. The pot. They the don't. Possum. And they have all the teeth because they're pretty. Oh, great. You what do they eat? No, that's fine. They eat um, ticks. Oh, good. Yeah, so they're actually right. good for like they're, they're really good for the yeah. environment. Yeah, <laughs> and they make good stew. And are they <laughs> are they in like all fifty states or at least all the lower forty eight? I think they're fairly populous. Paul, Wikipedia them. Yeah, let's see where their range but is. No, they're they try- have they're all trying all the to raise teeth. money right now. There's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> they have all the teeth, but it's like okay. that is supposed. To, it's because they're relatively helpless. So like you get freaked out by the teeth. That's what they're mm-hmm. so evolutionarily. They just evolved to have the teeth to look scary, yeah. and then they and, and then they, they play dead. Oh, and they so play dead. I saw a video one on on like uh, Instagram the other day where like a story p- clock a coyote <laughs> a coyote story was like clock. chasing a possum and it like bit him and he just like went limp and the coyote like lost interest and left. Yeah, and the, 
Possibly well, that says something terrible about the coyote that so, he only wants one thing that fights back. <laughs> I know. He, he, here's the, here's the mad creep. coyote was a That's creep. They should have shot him. Honestly. They should have shot the bastard, I tell yeah. you. Probably a male, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, a it was a very yeah. toxic coyote. <laughs> wow, they're so, not everywhere. So I have the answer huh. to the question of I'll where they are. So it's going to be West Coast. And uh, basically Texas. See, and but like basically the Mississippi. Do you see where it like couple in the of in, randos and like <laughs> in, <laughs> you see Arizona. how it like very slightly goes on the edge into New Mexico yeah. there and so like that's where I grew up. Oh well, that makes sense. Mm. Like that's like my hometown that's is right awesome in there. Dick. So all we need yeah. to do so is go not... over to the east east uh, Oregon and we're we're in the. Clear. I like how they're yeah. right on. It the appears river, that there's apparently. a an elevation. At ah. which you can't be a possum. I mean, that makes sense. Because those are think... all low elevation places. Look at that. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. 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 The Cascade Looks like you hit yeah. about 1,500 feet and no longer have possums. That's impressive. Or desert. That or you could look at that map and know. And then below, because yeah. there's nowhere Well, because all there. of Montana, like the lowest point in Montana is like 2,000 feet or something. It's up huh. by Libby. Yeah. It's like where the Kootenai River goes across into uh And then there's that little Idaho. like inlet, which is the river. <laughs> along yeah. Oregon. That's, that that's the Columbia, which is a super low elevation yeah. like huh. channel through the ground. I just am impressed that you looked at that map and you were like, oh, that's elevation. Like, I would have never considered that. I, I like maps. Yeah, no, I get bored and go on Google Earth like a lot. <laughs> yeah, like I'm being sincere. I'm not. I'm like not Thank even you. just ragging on you. I'm being sincere. I'm impressed. So we love nerd. We love po- a possum. We love possum. We love, love possum. We should be kind to them. They are just. We yeah, should adopt them. Let them into our the homes. Yes, but if you do, do shoot a possum, yeah, get it mounted and send it yeah, to please. Eliza. Yeah, because yeah, she don't wants waste it. a taxidermied. Yeah. Exactly. Like, don't do it on purpose, but if it accidentally like, happens. Like, but if one of them pisses you off enough and you have to cap no, it. why would they piss you off? They're perfect baby angels. <laughs> but what if it's a mean one? There's not. If they, there if might they be a mean one. What if it's racist? Uh, if it's racist, I don't want it in my house. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but you could have it there to have celebrated the racism that w- you thwarted. That's true. It's my woke possum. Yeah. yeah. Woke possum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're pro woke possums. Yes. Uh, yeah. Nick. You're bringing the hate today? I am bringing some hate. What um, you got? I hate crossover SUVs. Okay, I'm going to need you to, because I don't know what, what? that means. Okay. I don't what? know what that means. What They're does like, Bjorn drive? What do you drive? Actually, both of <laughs> you guys' <laughs> cars qualify. Yeah. It's what like does little, Paul drive? little SUVs. You know, like yeah. all the little SUVs perfect that people have. Perfect SUVs. Here's, you know the perfect SUV? <laughs> yeah, no, you're a, yeah, you can argue. I am wrong. <laughs> Here's the thing. Oh, okay. is I'm wrong on this. I like where we're starting here. As mm. far as what I most, agree. <laughs> as far as appliances go, if your appliance. car is an appliance, <laughs> uh, what? And you don't want a Toyota Prius, which is the best appliance. The second best what appli- makes a car appliance. What an appliance? Just oh, you don't only. give a fuck about it's the just car. Po- getting oh. you from A to point B. Use it as an a, a yeah, transportation appliance. I mean, appliance. that's every car I've uh, ever owned. <laughs> right. So if you want an appliance and you don't want a Prius, then you want a crossover because it's got like it's easy to get in, it's comfortable, it has a lot of room, and yeah. it's not that's so why I bought big mine. and cumbersome and hard to drive. It has. Yeah. That's exactly why I bought mine. Perfect amount of ground clearance. It's the Goldilocks yeah. of ground clearance. <laughs> sure. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> If we didn't have crossovers, most people, and I would say 90% of people with crossovers, would be just as well suited with a wagon, like a regular wagon. Well, they used to be wagons, and then they, they evolved. Did. And the problem is wagons are fucking cool because they have their lower clearance, lower center of gravity, more fun to drive. They're a car, like they're literally just a sedan with more room. And those would be so cool if we had a bunch of new wagons on the used market. If everybody was buying wagons instead of crossovers, you'd have lots of cool used wagons to thrash. Mm. But instead, ah. you just have a bunch of boring fucking mom cars. Well, so, you know so this, can... I just want to clarify, this is what Hell you're Hell yeah, that of. is. Yeah. I'm a yeah. huge proponent of a Taurus Ford Taurus wagon. wagon. You know, Taurus. My buddy had one of those in college. I had a backwards facing third row. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. How fucking stupid Were we talking about those last week? Probably. So the thing is, if, if you were to go further south from where you are, if you were to go into like... California, where the weather gets better, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, those are everywhere because they exist from back then mm-hmm. and there's no mm-hmm. rust. You see so that cars Corolla wagon right there? That's the wagon version of my first car. I had a 93 Corolla. That's an amazing car. Uh, there's no safety features I mean, at all. So I, it's lightweight. I agree with you. On Did it have that. an automatic seatbelt? <laughs> that goes up. 
of course. It, it, it did have seat belts. I, <laughs> yeah, and it had, then it, was, it had the, no, heat, it, the it heating, have, cooling, sliding thing. Yeah, that you had to go. No, back I and think forward. it was the Tercel. I remember getting in a buddy's like '95 Tercel that had the little seat yeah. belt move no, forward. My friend's thing. mom had, I think, a Camry that had one of those. My, my I think they skipped I, it. I think it on my the Subaru had it. I had, a, I had that that green one down in the corner. '90s cars were awesome. I had, uh, that I don't know I if think I go that far. Anyways, oh, they were fantastic. Uh, they were like the last the last generation of like very unsafe cars. Yeah, it's oh. cafe standards <laughs> that changed everything. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so, so you're weird. pro wagon. I'm pro wagon. You're pro wagon and but anti I'm anti SUV. safety. Can you give me what are the top three <laughs> reasons that you would prefer a wagon versus an SUV? Uh lower center or of gravity. Crossover. Uh-huh. So it's so lower center of gravity means it's gonna be it's gonna handle better. Yeah. Mostly that. Also, I think they look cooler. I think they look cool down yeah. low. And I, I don't know. I, just I sent you pictures. I've of always my, liked the, wagons. Have you seen the pictures of of the Rav4? Oh, whenever Ford people dropped. drop like I a Rav Four, Rav Four, Q Five, or any of those, <laughs> they look pretty cool. So but we're, look we're, at a dropped Q Five versus just look at an A Six wagon, and you're like the A Six wagon just looks better. I, the proportions of a wagon are better. So yeah, what, like what did you think of this car when it came out? Oh, that's, I love the XP. Okay, XP. it's so dumb. It's embarrassing. I've here's the thing: is <laughs> my I, friend had one. I've made this statement many times, maybe not on the pod. I'm a fan of any car that people are like, "How the fuck did that get made?" Okay, cube the cube with the, the Nissan window, cube with the window. Yeah, oh, the that's wraparound so window. dumb. PT, I love PT it. PT Cruiser. PT Cruiser. Uh, it's an awful car. Yeah, but. They did make a turbo version that was fast, can and we, so you can have the funny. ugliest, dumb can old we be honest, car. Isn't the PT and it's a Cruiser, bad car? The PT Cruiser is just the Guy Fury of cars, right? I don't know. Like everyone well, shits on it. No, the PT it Cruiser is it. not a good car. It sold like hotcakes when it was new because it was like also, the beginning can, of the can, can Guy Fury is a Trump supporter. Can I tell you something? Oh, is he? Can I tell you something real the quick? The PT Cruiser would support Trump yeah, look if at the that. car could. The PT Trump. Cruiser is a literal driving Trump supporter. <laughs> yeah, it's a Trump <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah you, no, you yeah. Of course. I, I don't there's think... one right there with flames. Do you see it? <laughs> yeah. We need a... F- okay, American the, flag PT Cruiser. That's uh, also, what we need. Also, there's the that one that's like the truck that kind of looks like that. Yeah, there the we go. SSR. Like, would you call the that SSR a wagon? Is what would awesome. you, or is that a crossover SUV? What would you call a PT Cruiser? The PT Cruiser is... It's like its own thing. It's a hatchback. I'd say it's like a... Uh, yeah, hatch. Well, I would say it's closest. It's a chody sedan. It's a chody. Se- it's a chode van. It's not a sedan. <laughs> it, it's closer to a hatchback, but it could be a wagon as yeah, well. I'd say it's a wagon. It's I'd an American yeah. Beetle. But ca- I do have a fact I want to throw in here. Yeah. yeah. When the PT Cruiser, uh, I think it was the early 2000s, the, it, it came out and they made yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. Challenge was they couldn't sell them. Yeah. So they were running a buy one, get one free promotion. No, in the early two thousand, late nineties, early two thousand, it was it was it was so <laughs> bad they wow. ran a buy one get That's one amazing. sale. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, so my Damn. association with PT they Cruiser it. is that um, my ex husband and I had um, a couple, a friend, who, like couple, another couple friend. You know what I mean? Where it's like we were friends with both story people, clock. Couple. Yeah, thank you for the story clock. I fucking thought I was gonna get away with it. <laughs> it's like shit. Um, Getting better. Oh wow. Um. Anyway. Uh. And the the husband of the couple was like he really wanted a PT. He was like down for that PT Cruiser, and he finally got one. And like we took a ride in it. It was just like there was no headroom. It was just the biggest it pile was, of it garbage. It was just a pile of garbage. Anyway, <laughs> and then later I had a falling out with the wife, and then um, the husband like took the same train to work as my ex-husband did Mm -hmm. and they would be at the train station at the same time and then the (laughs) guy i'm sorry this is important (laughs) i will wrap it up um and like they weren't beefing or anything but like i guess he was like you know standing up for his wife or whatever but he hid behind a like a light pole you could see him (laughs) (laughs) you're like i can see you yeah he was like you're like like, mike is that you (laughs) yeah my ex-husband was like what the fuck like he was just like you will never believe what happened today (laughs) Um, and so that is my association with PT Cruiser. So that thank you. seems on brand for the yeah. type of person exactly. Who would buy that like car. it was my, like, my do you think? Was... It, are you playing peekaboo? Do you think that he can't see you? Like, and he was not a small man. Like, it was a light pole. It was fine. Like, also that car was very popular among Filipino women. Oh, um, specifically see, no, you know my, mom. Uh, <laughs> my mom. My mom. I just say, I love so whatever bad. Filipino women want. I love. I want them to have. And that. she would have made it like the Elvis mobile. She would have. Totally. Like, <laughs> I just know she would have. Like, She's like so. I love I the wood pan- paneling. And I, I bet. think it was really popular amongst like 
boomers. Yeah, boomers. Yeah, because loved the it. styling was like retro and well, looked and like the styling, old cars. The styling looked like Dick Tracy mm-hmm. yeah. movie. Well, do you remember the HHR? Yeah. The oh HHR. yeah, I actually liked that. I drove it once. It was just hot garbage. I remember we had <laughs> one as a rental terrible. car, and it was a pile. It was yeah. so it bad, was not good. But I liked it because I was obsessed with that Dick Tracy, the Warren Beatty movie, Madonna. Dick Tracy. Yeah. They made some. Yeah, they. It's essentially that American car companies. But it's tragic. They've made some pretty neat looking cars. Yeah. That just suck. and then they just don't have the balls to like stick with it until it finds the market. <laughs> no, they just know? make them so shitty. Yeah. Like the quality is shoddy. I like how I want to talk about the car industry when I know absolutely nothing. They're well, just bad. Well, crossover, crossover SUVs. I think I I love the category mm-hmm. and I know I, and Nick hates it so much. It's the perfect car for me. Mm-hmm. I love my crossover SUV because I would like to drive an SUV, but it makes zero sense to drive that around for what I use it for. Yeah, you want but like I have, some off road ability. I want. I don't want. But you get don't stuck want a truck in the snow. I want to be able mm-hmm. to go skiing. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to like mm-hmm. you know put a put, tow a little bit of stuff <laughs> like mm-hmm. a small U haul. When I need to, or my motorcycle, I don't need to be taking like a giant camper anywhere. Mm-hmm. Don't care about that. I, I, you know, I've taken it on the beach. I drove mine on the beach. I mm-hmm. like it's pretty zippy. It can get up and go faster mm-hmm. than like my truck that I used to have, and it's got enough space that you know I can have my dogs and like I've slept in it. It's yeah. big enough to sleep. Yeah, in. Yeah, I could totally like put down you the know? back seats yeah. in mine. No, it's it. Yeah. It's objectively <laughs> the best car. It's just I, like the principle. So thing. I kind of, I, I agree with everybody here. And let me explain. <laughs> yes. yes. Great points. But there is just kind of something sexy about a guy in a truck or like sure. or like a like a forerunner mm-hmm. that's just kind of like. I would agree. Like, <laughs> so what is just, a forerunner if it's not it's a crossover? What Paul used to it's drive. an SUV. It's, it's body on it's a truck. It's a truck. Yeah, so. I can explain the difference Thank here. You. The big yeah. difference is this construction body on frame versus unibody. Body ah, on okay. frame means they that the engine it. and the frame are separate and the body is then bolted to that. Unibody means like the chassis that the engine is connected to is the body one piece like it ah, is right. the entire. And then they just put that frame on. Yeah, they'll they'll they put, put the, the body out, work the on on all of it. But, like, if you looked at a stripped, like, without the body, mm-hmm. your car, mm-hmm. it'll kind of still look like your car. If you look at my Tacoma, it's it will pieces. be a motor on what looks like a ladder. Yeah. A ladder, yeah. a motor, and some wheels. And then they put the whole body, they just plop that, that thing makes, right okay. down. That's the difference. So yeah, the, the Forerunner is like that. Every pickup truck except the And about the Maverick. 20 MPG difference, too. Yeah, a whole lot of MPG. Oh, sure. Oh, well, that horrible. makes sense because it's, like, heavier. It's heavier, and typically they're a bigger car, and they're big and square, and they're rear-wheel drive, which is inherently less efficient because you got to yeah. send power all the way back. Oh, thank you. I never understood Make it what turn that a meant. corner. Yeah, when people are like, you want... Real, also, you know, so it's yeah. cheaper to produce. That's the yeah. other reason why car mm. companies are like, yeah, let's do these sure. because we can make more money. It's, so it's a little more affordable, too. Yeah, it's like fewer yeah. parts to just yeah. make it front wheel drive. Yeah. And maybe they send it to the back wheels, too. Are they safer, too? I can't remember. Uh, Cars are like way safer than they used to be. Like just in Cafe general. standards, yeah. once again. I do think <laughs> yeah. the unibody construction does make it a little easier to engineer the crumple zones into yeah. it. it. Makes sense. Right. Whereas most cars that are body on frame now are just fucking enormous. And yeah. So that's, that's, how, and they're that's safe. how they're safe. They they're safe by yeah. being a tank. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. the like aggressor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're the reason other Is cars that... have to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, the... they're the reason for these compact SUVs. Yeah, yeah if it weren't for all those, we could all just drive a Miata and have a good fucking time. <laughs> oh my God. The time I will say, of our lives. yeah, my, the cars that I would want, no one wants the cars I want. I'd like sedans and wagons with a manual transmission Mm -hmm. i like sports cars and i like trucks yeah and none of those are like the ideal one car no it's like they all had a baby together and it was an ugly baby exactly like if all the cars (laughs) i like fucked you would probably end up with a crossover yeah (laughs) but exactly (laughs) but i don't want that i want all these (laughs) other cars he doesn't want the conclusion but i also don't want to buy them new and that's why i'm annoyed at crossovers is because i want there to be cool cars that then become cheap used cool cars you know what's so Mm. smart about crossovers too is i don't know about 
y'all, but I don't know if I'm going to have a three car garage when I'm older. No. Yeah. So like th- those, those like the, the, the time of people being able to have two, three cars yeah. is that's boomer generation. Like that's mm-hmm. gone. I think like we have to, like we have to be smart. And I think car, car manufacturers know this, like what a, a family of four is like a one car family. Right. So it's like, yeah. okay, Sometimes you, you can... have to have the car that can do a little of this and a little of that. That makes sense. This, so. I, I think also the reason the popularity of it is it's uh, it's a lot of, there's a stigma around minivans and <laughs> vans. <laughs> and it's sort of like the cool new van that where it's like, no, I, I, I yeah. still, I'm I still a cool ski. mom. I, yeah. I, I still get on my kayak once in a while. Yeah. And yeah. they've made the crossovers efficient so that yeah. it was like <laughs> the people who were in all the Suburbans and Tahoes <laughs> yeah. th- then got shamed by other people people in suburbans and tahoes for having I mean, bad gas paul, mileage paul and then they about... all bought crossovers that get like My, i get good gas mileage. 28 miles to the gallon well, well, I, well, at I, least it's not, not 17 yeah. up to 40 on some yeah i some usually get and... like 24 ish yeah. <laughs> paul talks about the guys that come in with their heads like hung like all right sell me a, S- a sienna yeah. <laughs> like, where are your highlanders where... yeah. <laughs> yeah. i would go sienna Third over row. islander oh me point. too siennas are so many fans are comfy out. as fuck yeah uh, except for like the getting in and you have to hunch around i don't like that part oh like if the, you're driving though you're good to go you're, I, oh, mean, the, I, I will never chairs. drive i mean i might be like incidentally driving in a minivan but like there is no point in my life where it would make sense for me to drive if you all would like to see us <laughs> test drive the brand yeah. new 2024 yeah. sienna yeah. hybrid and oh, make with eliza send driving the <laughs> i'll drive it send 250 dollars <laughs> aren't they fast Oh, they, I mean, yeah. Because minivans are typically well, like kind the, of fast because yeah. they uh, they're engineered to have seven people in them. Yeah. yeah. So when it's just one person it's in seven a van. American oh, you guys wouldn't even get in with me? It would just be me yeah, driving by No, so you can experience the full the acceleration. Zero to 60. That the <laughs> we want, we want you to be comfortable <laughs> crying at the joy, the yeah. sheer joy. Uh, you yeah. need to make like a Top oh. Gear style like video. It would be like a glimpse into it. You know, sometimes I think about like Eliza just going life, to work. The, <laughs> She's right. like, oh my God, this I can pass everyone. This is amazing. Yeah. And I do that anyway. I'm always running late. I've actually thought about how it would be a bad idea for you to buy my car because it's yeah. fast and yeah. sometimes i will just be like bjorn you're downtown right now you do not need to Wait, be going well, this so fast when i was like in college i drove a chevy blazer um which i guess would be like just a regular because it was before it crossovers. was the old blazer yeah. so that yeah. was a body on that, frame that was that was an SUV. Yeah. and yeah. An SUV. i used to i lived in new mexico and i went to school in albuquerque and i lived in southern new mexico and one time i was coming home and like out there, there is Story clock. nothing. Thank you. Fuck, man. I really keep hoping I can <laughs> slip it in. Um, anyway, and I was driving home and I looked down and I was going like 105 and I just didn't even know. And Dang, I was like, in this a 90s is not... Chevy Blazer. Yeah. And oh. I was like, I mean, because that's the thing. I have a lead foot. Bjorn mm-hmm. knows. I know. Um, <laughs> and that's why I said you should not drive my I car. I should not. No, because I don't need that but, much but power. To your defense, Bjorn does say he feels comfortable with you driving yes, because which you know how very... to give space. You you yeah. don't tailgate. No, because I drive that's... too fast. That's, that's... <laughs> You're like <laughs> You're too busy passing them. Exactly, <laughs> I do. No, but they, I, it really means a lot that you say that because you know I could be a disaster. Of a I I was that. surprised because you had told me that, and so I was kind of ready for it. And then I was like, uh, because I'm not going to say who it is, but we have some a friend that we all know that tailgates and changes lanes at the last second. Rhymes and with likes Mavid. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, and and likes to uh, change lanes really late and drive in the left lane, going the speed limit, and it drives me crazy. Oh, that like it so pisses bad. me off because I'm like, do you Get not out see of my way. how you're creating problems? You're right. create because everyone's passing you on the right. If you're in this, if you're driving <laughs> the speed limit, you go in the far right lane. Yeah, if you're, you're kind of cruising middle lane, if you're like me, always running late and driving as fast as I can, that's the where I yeah, belong in the left lane. I Get agree. out of my way. Um. Yeah, so it's probably good. Anyway, yeah, I was going 105. Uh, I was like, that is not safe. Mm -hmm. I was like, that was, you know, and I was like 20 years old. I'm an idiot, right? My brain's not done cooking. And even I was like, ooh. Yeah, you could hear the car actively falling apart. No, it was fine. No, my friend had one of those in high school. And my favorite thing about it was like, we'd go over a bump and plastic things would just fall (laughs) off of it. And we'd be like, what does this go to? I have no idea. No, that car's probably still running. pieces of plastic. Uh, Yeah. Anyway. I took my Corolla up to like 95 one time and it was vibrating violently and i was yeah, like yeah you right. know it <laughs> no yeah, it ser- wasn't even doing that i didn't know seriously though eliza if you drove mine paul's done this he's like 
he'll be driving on a trip and and i'll i'll look over and I'm like babe um can we maybe not go 120 and he's like oh my god i didn't even realize yeah, you're going you just don't know the, like, you just don't know we're like That's tailwind hot. down a hill i don't know yeah. like on on the on 84 just mm-hmm. passing people and it's just like yeah it, it just it doesn't feel like it. it's such a smooth ride mm-hmm. and it gets there quickly uh it, yeah. because of the electric motors oh i thought you were really just saying going, driving 120 miles an hour gets you where you are it trying to get quickly. you there quickly uh yeah. no but it doesn't take that long to get up to that yeah, speed yeah. or like you're like oh there's this truck i'm just gonna pass this truck and then you just keep going that speed mm-hmm. yeah well but, yes so um but that was yeah so that's when i drove an actual suv and not a cross so nick yeah you still hate <laughs> Crossover I'm I'm fully aware that I'm not correct, <laughs> and that and that they car companies are sense. businesses, and what yeah. most people want is is a practical car that does everything that they want. Yeah. I personally like dumb cars, dude. I I agree. And so I, I'm I'm like I'm wrong, but I I have this opinion, and it it always makes me sad. It especially makes me sad when, like, a cool car company is like, and guess what? We're bringing out our new crossover. It's like, <laughs> fuck you, Ferrari. Our version of a crossover. We don't yeah. need a Ferrari That's, crossover. Yeah. Like, the, why? The, Urus. the Lamborghini Urus. We didn't need that. <laughs> Have you seen that? It's no. ugly. We're about. No. Paul, can you pull up a Lamborghini Urus? It's ugly as talking? sin. It's their best-selling model by it's, far. Oh, oh it totally. Sell, it outsells all the rest of them. <laughs> like, why spend Lamborghini money? Like... It's it just is a really nice Lamborghini SUV. what? Urus, you are It's like IS? your car, are but you with 600 US? and some horsepower and very comfortable. How much are those? Um, yeah, like like a, 300 grand. That's Like stupid. a bajillion dollars, and they come in like ridiculous colorways. No, it's 189 at Walmart. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for 189 Is that for the like, kids' the power versions? Wheels. Yeah. yeah. So it's just that. It just yeah, looks like... Just, if you guys send us it's, $189... It's yeah. my... Yeah. <laughs> we'll buy a Power Wheels Urus <laughs> and whip yeah. that and, thing around the... And exactly. that's what I will sit in when we do the podcast. I will podcast from that. Yeah. Forever. Like when I get excited, just... I'll drive it forward. And then yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, it joke. started. Porsche had started that when they they gave in and they made the Cayenne, and it was an mm. overwhelming success and made them way more money than That's any so other model. Stupid. But the the nine eleven and the Boxster it's... and the Cayman that should be what Porsche makes. Exactly. Yeah, but nobody buys them. No, plenty of people buy them, but way more people buy the Cayenne, <laughs> and it makes them enough money that they can make crazy ass 911s. Yep. And fair That's enough, fair. True. but it still annoys me that their best selling model and like most people with a Porsche have like a Porsche van. The fuck mm-hmm. out of here! Like it's a fast <laughs> SUV. It's a Porsche it, minivan. Like yeah, the Cayenne is actually like a really good car, but still, boo. I remember the, the first time I saw Urus, I was just like, what is that car? The Urus is weird looking. I've seen a few of them, but I don't really like them. I like the Audi Q8 better. It's the same car. I think the Q8 looks better than the Urus. But I, I would know. say I agree, but I disagree. I, I love my crossover. I love it so mm-hmm. much. It's, be- it's like the, the best car. Clock, yeah. The car talk. Yeah. And then, <laughs> but what I was, no, what well, I was going to say is episode. I agree with Nick in that, like, I want to be a truck guy. I want to drive a truck. I want to drive these other cars. I think I, Paul drove a forerunner when I, when we first mm-hmm. met and I thought that was really awesome. And it was during my outdoor phase. And yeah, it was I a know. cool truck. Uh, I don't know the distinction but, between these genres. <laughs> but then, cars. but then we went They're on all, one. The same. We went on one road trip in it. It was very comfortable, and I felt very safe the whole time. But we and also you filled 8, up thousand gallons of the fuel. Same amount of times <laughs> we filled up than when in his Mitsu, his now Mitsubishi. And so. we're done. <laughs> so now he drives the Mitsubishi <laughs> and saves a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Anyways. That's all. That's all I had to say about. All that. right. Cool. But well, in conclusion, buy a Miata. Buy a Miata. <laughs> Just put a lift buy on a it. Buy a fucking With a Ram T Rex and a Miata, <laughs> like a real American. Just useless shit. <laughs> so, um, in this episode, yeah, Eliza loves possums. Mm-hmm. Nick hates crossovers. hates crossovers, <laughs> but he knows he's wrong. But he still hates crossovers. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking I to my guns. I respect that. I respect that you're like, I know I'm wrong, and I'm still going to lean into it. Yeah, nice. 100%. Do we have a sponsor? And yeah, we do actually have a sponsor. I was able to get Toyota to sponsor. 
Um, introducing the new 2025 Toyota Possum. Not, <laughs> not pretty, but it's the right size, reliable, and sweet. So Toyota Possum coming out 2024. I want the first one. It, it, it appears to be dead, but it's not. It'll yeah. be, it's still alive. <laughs> it's still, White with gray. <laughs> Could you imagine the call? Yeah, my car won't start. Oh, just just walk away from it. <laughs> Don't look at it. It'll be fine. That actually is Toyota. Like, they could look dead, but they are still start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to uh, check us out this Friday for a new episode of Love It or Hate It. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.